Are you wondering how to remove your phone number from your Google business profile? Well, if that's the case, you have made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Raya from RayaMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of removing your phone number from your Google business profile. So it's going to be quick. It's going to be easy. Let's just get into it. Okay. So the first thing that we have to do is make sure that we're logged into the correct Google account and email that is associated with our Google business profile. File. So you can check that by clicking your account in the top right hand corner, make sure that you're logged into the right one. And then what you do is essentially Google search for your business. So mine shows up when I just Google my business name, Mariah Magazine. Sometimes if you have a business name that's a little bit more common, you might have to type in your city, your state. I also heard that you can type in my business and then Google will sh uh, show your business profile. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, there we go. So you could do that too. And then we can just view profile and then we're getting hit with the same exact thing. Okay, so the issue that I was having is that my business isn't set up like a lot of other businesses, especially like a lot of other local businesses. So before I had my business phone number listed here, but because my videos on YouTube are getting found a lot more and like people, I guess, are just searching my name a little bit more on Google, having my phone number listed, I was getting texts, I was getting phone calls, all of that stuff. And to be honest, that's not how I connect with new leads or potential customers in my business. So my appointments are typically video calls like on Zoom and they're by appointment only. So I don't actually pick up random phone calls or anything like that. I just, I operate my business a little bit differently. Instead, people go over to my contact page and fill out a project request form in order to request an appointment for a consult. So I'm very intentional with that stuff. So the fact that my phone number was listed on my Google business profile was not doing me any favors. But the issue was, is I couldn't find any videos walking me through like how to actually remove my, my phone number. And so it took me a hot second. So at first you might think, oh, we can just go to edit profile. And then when we go to contact, phone number. So before I turn the setting on, you can click the edit button and it would allow you, it would show the box to edit your phone number, but there was no way to like remove it from there. So actually, if you're getting hit with the same thing, so the only reason why I'm seeing this here is because I turned on this advanced setting, which is a little bit hidden. Okay, so in order to remove your phone number, basically click on these three dots right here and then click business profile settings. And then we're gonna go to advanced settings and then scroll down to phone number. You need this button or this box, this line, whatever this is, don't show. We want this checked on just like it is on my screen. Once you do that, you can save it. If there's a save button, I don't remember. But basically, once you do that, give it, I think it took about an hour in order for Google to remove the phone number from my Google business profile. But essentially, now we have that the phone number is a piece of missing information, which is exactly what I want. If you do want to double check if your phone number is listed to the general public, you can open up an incognito window, Google search your business name, and then see if your phone number is listed. Like I said, this could take some time. It's definitely not immediate, like right away, but I think mine only took about an hour. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.